one. Hi, my name is Rick Sanchez. I'm with a company called Tractor Tip Equipment. What we have for sale there, here today is a Volvo L70C. Uh, you can't really make out the nomenclature on that, but. Uh, the serial number of this machine is L70. C like Charlie, V like Victor, one nine, I'm sorry, one four one nine, and I'm gonna leave that last digit blank. We're gonna talk about the mechanics of this particular machine in the first clip, the operating specs in the second, we'll run it in the third. Price on a new machine like this these days, depending on how you equip it, is anywhere from 155 to 165,000. <laughs> The hours on this machine, sorry about that, are 7,124. You can see the engine there. As far as manufacturers go, uh, this machine, uh, Volvo is known for solid, uh, reliable equipment that holds up well and has great resale value. The weight of this machine is 26,000 pounds. The widest point is this bucket right here at 8 foot 3 inches. Now without the bucket it's 7 foot 7 inches at the wheels. The highest point is the top of that cab at uh, 10 and a half feet. The transportation length from the front of this cutting edge to this rear counterweight is 23 feet. Comparable machines are like a Komatsu WA250, TAT 928, maybe a John Deere 624. Um, as far as the history of this unit goes, this machine, like uh, all the machines we purchase, is an original uh, owner Dallas, Texas machine. It's got no rust. I mean, you'll see surface rust here and there. But it in no way, shape, or form is pervasive on this machine. This machine comes from Dallas, Texas, so. Uh, We're far enough south and 300 miles from the ocean, so the only salt we see is the salt on our kitchen tables. Uh, we bought this machine from a contractor. We buy from about 30 different people. And uh, the equipment manager was a good guy. He was on the, on the ball. Uh, they had a comprehensive maintenance program that rivals some of the best I've seen. Uh, we've been happy with all the machines that we've purchased from these guys and it should be said that before I purchase any machine, my mechanics thoroughly inspect it and before I write a check for it, if the money's right, <coughs> I go out and I inspect it. As far as options go, you know, this machine has got a this is really, really great. It's got a, uh, a, a, a hinged radiator, transmission, and oil cooler. So you can clean out everything really, really well. Um, it's got that. It's got a battery disconnect. Yeah, right. Battery disconnect. Tank just showed me the battery disconnect. It's right here. Uh, it's got an enclosed cab. Uh, the air conditioner is not working. We uh, didn't mess with it because we figured we're going into the winter months. Nobody's going to use the AC anyway. The heater works. Um, <clears throat> this machine is a tool carrier machine. It's got a, uh, a quick coupler. It's got... Uh, Obviously, this bucket. Where's the points, I think? Uh, those are the forks right there. 
We'll show you those forks a little better here in a little bit. Obviously, this loader is inherently four-wheel drive. Um, I think, does this have a... Uh, Yeah, the FNR switch is up there. Next to the boom loop. Oh yeah, it's got a remote transmission control. Tank kind of showed us that right there. Of course, the quick coupler, it works. It's in good condition. Yeah, quick coupler works. I think that's about it on options. As far as the, uh, <laughs> the engine goes, this is a Volvo TD 63 KDE. It's a 130 horsepower machine or 130 horsepower engine. It's got a 50.2 gallon uh, diesel fuel tank, which will run you 12 to as many as 16 hours, depending on operation. These Volvo loaders are well known for their uh, fuel efficiency. I think that's what put them on the map. That, they're very reliable. Um, all the fluid levels on this tractor are where they should be. The machine is mechanically sound. There's no leaks. All of the hydraulics work as they should. Uh, the transmission runs through all the gears without hesitation. The brakes stop it on a dime. Top speed on this machine is 27 miles per hour in forward, 16 in reverse. As you can see, the tires are, uh, these tires are 20.5 uh, R25s. If you were to average them all out, I'd say they're probably about 65%. Except that one there, that one's probably 5%. As far as uh, things wrong uh, with this machine, like I said, the uh, AC does not uh, work. Um, Some of these tires here have got a little bit of uh, chewing up, but it's not and it, it's not on the sidewall, so you're okay. But it should be mentioned. Uh, the lights, the top work lamps are gone. They're not there. Um, So uh, again, on this bucket, this bucket is eight foot three inches wide. Well, that cutting edge is 100% on this side. Uh, the depth of the bucket, the height is three foot six inches tall, and the depth is two and a half feet. I'd measure, I'd rate this bucket to be about a three and a quarter yard bucket. Uh, this hinge pin right here, the hinge pin height on this machine, like if you were loading into a dumpster, is 12 foot 10 inches. The uh, front loader breakout force, well, the loader lifting capacity is 15,233 pounds. 
So the lifting capacity on this loader is limited by its static tip load, which uh, simply stated uh, the hydraulics on this machine will give out, I mean the weight, the machine will actually tip forward on this machine before the hydraulics give out. The hydraulics are so powerful that the uh, machine will actually tip forward before the hydraulics give out. That's why I say that the lifting capacity of this machine, the static tip load, is 15,233 pounds. Um, we're going to run it in the next clip. Go. Okay, so as far as the ports go, these are uh, five foot carriage width. The, um, the actual tines are uh, four foot eight inches, so I guess to the back of the hill they'd be considered five foot ports. And they are about three foot tall, more or less, 34 inches. All right, so this is the inside of the cab here. See the gauges all work. There's your hour meter. Your seat. This monitor panel also works. There's no error codes. One.